Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Taylor and I come to you from Baltimore, Maryland. And you might know me from the Thread to Men podcast, but in this video, I want to show you the five things every knitter needs. The first thing that every knitter needs is knitting needles, obviously. Um, there's a lot of different knitting needles on the market. If you're brand new to knitting, you might not know where to start. And I just have recommendations for you if you're if you're really 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 unsure um needles come in all kinds of things uh forms plastic metal wood bamboo i recommend if you um are brand new to knitting and you want to get started make the investment in an interchangeable set it will give you everything you need to make almost any single project from start to finish um if you use the magic loop method, you can knit um, small circumference things like the sleeve on these interchangeables. You do not require DPNs if you use the magic loop method. Um, if you're not sure on which kind of interchangeable set to buy, I do recommend a wooden needle um, because bamboo needles, although they're great for beginners because they kind of drag the yarn and it's kind of hard for the the stitches to slip off. Once you get better and better at knitting, that might be aggravating to you that it is so slow. Um, metal needles are quite slippery, and so they can be harder for the beginner knitter to kind of not drop their stitches. So I really love wooden needles because they're that perfect middle ground of slippery enough that you can get fly, you kind of, you can really fly with your knitting. Um, but not so slippery that it can be kind of nerve wracking um, to knit quickly <laughs> um, without losing a stitch. So um, highly recommend wooden needles and buying that interchangeable set. Another reason why I recommend the wooden needles is that they are at a very reasonable price in the interchangeable set I'm holding up for you. Um, I actually have two sets in this case. Um, the one that came in this case are back here. These are the five inch interchangeables and I have a four inch set. Personally, I prefer the four inch set, but you might like five inch interchangeable needles. So that's gonna be the first thing any knitter needs is proper knitting needles. Um, and I think I said enough there. Now the second thing that you're gonna need is um, a measuring tool. And if you could only have one, uh, you're gonna need a measuring tape. You can find these almost anywhere. Um, make sure that you're not buying some thing on Amazon that isn't even accurate. You wanna make sure that the measuring tape measures correctly because they do sell ones on Amazon that are not correct. And you wanna make sure that you're not buying some piece of so, yeah, they, you, honestly, I really, every time I find one at a knitting store that I really like or at a festival, if I want some little memento from the trip, I usually just spend the extra dollar, two dollars on measuring tape. Um, sometimes they're even free at festivals and stuff. So definitely going to need a measuring tape. The third thing that every knitter needs is a Ravelry account. Um, if you're not already on Ravelry, go to Ravelry.com and sign up so that you can view all the patterns available online. Many, many, many of them are free and it would cost nothing to gather those instructions and get started on a project. Um, obviously, I think it's a worthy investment of your time to create a profile, log all your projects, um, you know, just keep a record of all the things that you're making and um, it just shows your progress over time and how your tastes have changed and all kinds of, um, I don't know, worthy records of, of stuff. So make sure that you have a Ravelry page. The fourth thing every knitter needs is a darning needle. Um, you really can't avoid needing a darning needle. Uh, they're absolutely essential for weaving in all your ends. Uh, scissors are hardly even necessary. You can usually break yarn or just pull it through the back. Um, I think that if you have a darning needle and a measuring tool and knitting needles, you probably have everything you need to get started in knitting. I like to keep, I, um, I bought a little clover set. They come in these nice little 
um, vials and in that you could put other notions that you might have available in your arsenal of tools, um, many of which are unnecessary um, but might be required given the projects that you're working on. Um, some of those in my needle case are a progress keeper so that I can track my beginning of round stitch. I like to use a progress keeper um, around the stitch rather than a marker around my needle because I drop my knitting uh, stitch markers when they're on the needles. And if it's attached to the fabric that you're making, you'll almost never lose your beginning of round row. Um, I also have a little tiny crochet hook and um, a interchangeable knitting tightener tool and stitch markers in here. Now the last and most important thing that every single knitter needs is a solid dose of self-confidence. I know that that sounds contrived, but you really have to commit yourself in the time and development of skill to make a thing. You're gonna need it. You can't give up, you can't quit, you gotta follow through, and that all comes with believing that you're capable of doing it. And if you're not get capable of doing it, being willing and able to make it happen regardless. So making mistakes, failing constantly, being loving enough to yourself that you're not gonna beat yourself up for it, but instead just start over. You got to, you got to get over all the drama of being this or that. You just have to do it. You have to find the self-confidence, find the self-esteem to just begin and work through and eventually finish. Because if you just keep at it, you're going to slowly build more and more and more esteem that's just going to keep you going and bring you past the finish line and on to the next project. So um, if you're brand new and you're thinking, I can't do this, just stop right there and tell yourself that you can and you will and you do it. <laughs> that's all it is. Um, that's really all it takes. And, you know, a lot of people out there are telling brand new knitters, start with this, start with that. You got to start with what you're in love with. Find something you love, even if it's a challenging project. You know, it, you might make a mistake of starting something too big too soon. But you're going to learn from that experience regardless. So um, if it's if it's something that you love enough to motivate you to keep at it, then just do it. Don't waste your time with what other people think is best for you. Find the thing that you really want. Work at it. Make it. Do it. I hope that this is helpful and that you all... Take care, be well, and make great things.